Hello and welcome back to the woodworking shed. As you can see, the shed is now complete and I have finished putting out all the tools, building all the cupboards and everything. So I thought to kick things off, let's do a small workshop tour. So we'll start over here with the clean area. Uh, this is uh, the first bench that I built, leftover CLS and plywood from the uh, construction of the shed. Got a cheap PC over there just for access to things like YouTube and you know, so following along with videos and that kind of thing. Uh, I've got a self-healing mat here. Uh, this is going to be the cleaner area. Uh, so this is going to be no glue, no paint, uh, you know, that kind of thing over here. Um, obviously speakers connected to the PC so I can listen to music and that kind of thing. I've also built a couple of cupboards like this one here. Uh, just for storage, this one's got all my casting things in it. We've got a pyrography station, pressure part, arbor press for the uh, for the pen making, that kind of thing. May also have noticed a new logo. Um, see, I'm sporting it on my t-shirt as well. Um, I've also had some stickers made, uh, which have the logo on it as well. But more about that in the future. So just in front of the uh, the other bench, I've got the main workbench. So this one's made again, similar principle, CLS and plywood. Uh, although this has actually got three layers of 18mm OSB as well as the plywood for the top, so it's nice and nice and solid. We've also got a vise yeah, built into it, and right behind me here we've got the tall wall. Everything's all hung on French cleat, so it can all be moved around, um, as is everything else that's in the in the workshop. All the screwdrivers, marking out equipment, uh, spanners, chisels, etc., all hung up behind me in easy reads. So there's a place for everything. Everything in its place, usual things. Should be nice and easy for me to find things uh, when I need them. On the other side of the shed from the tall wall, I've got some storage. In here, I've got all my sanding discs, sanding sheets, and other bits and pieces, all laid out by the different size grids. Up here, bolts, dowels, other things like that. Over here, I've got some pen kits and ribbons, those kind of things. Screws across the top, nails, and other kind of fixings. So in front of the main uh, bench I've got my table saw uh, hobby series TS 50 from Axminster uh, It's got all the all the accessories the sliding table though. That's not connected at the moment um, Gonna have to do a project with this at some point to improve the stand that it's sitting on um, It's not very portable. It'd be great if it was a bit more movable uh, Behind it. I've also got my, uh, my compressor under here, which connects to my airline and I've got the uh, valve and regulator just here just next to the table saw, I've got my router table, uh, which at the moment also has my belt sander sat on top of it. But up here, we have a record power air cleaner. Um, in fact, so very impressed with this so far, really, really impressed. And behind there, I've got all my uh, personal protection equipment. So headphones, glasses, air masks, and face shields for the turning, um, including a spare set for anyone who wishes to pay me a visit. Besides the router table, I have my Axminster Pillar drill and axe bandsaw. I also have my dust extractor as well. Uh, it uses a four inch system which is connected to all of the main machines the bandsaw, the router table, table saw, and the lathe, all with uh, individual blast gates. Lastly, we have the turning area. I've got my lathe mounted on uh, another cupboard that I've built uh, with more storage, all my tools, colours, stains, waxes, all that kind of thing on the side. Wood storage, uh, including some logs that I've managed to pick up from an arborist, and my uh, Robert Sorby Pro Edge for sharpening. And that completes it. That's the shed. Not a lot to it, still very small, but a lot better than what I had before. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Lots of great videos coming soon. Okay, Thomas. So, what are you going to do? I'm going to put this saw up on this hook. And what will that mean? It will mean the shed's all done. Okay. Go on then. Go the other way around, darling. That's it. No, no, turn it round. No, turn it round again. That's it, yeah. And what do we say? I declare. I declare. The shed. The shed. Done. Done. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Da, 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 da.